we've heard from the Canadian government they're going to make a $25 million investment in our biotherapeutics program. And that was work that was all sparked back in 2000 by a donation from the Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation of $25,000. So the $25 million investment is over five years and it's to fund a network of scientists from across the country to work together uh, to develop new biotherapeutic approaches for treating cancer. And our real goal is to get the best combination of therapies together for cancer patients and, and test it in cancer patients as soon as we can to make sure we advance the most promising therapeutics. We'll administer the, the, the funds from here in Ottawa and we'll have uh, national competitions to uh, allow people to apply for the money and our approach is to try to bring together the best and the brightest of Canada's scientific and medical communities to really uh, attack cancer head on. I think this funding is going to be very impactful for local cancer patients because we're going to be testing the most advanced experimental therapeutics that are available in the world right here in Ottawa as well as other sites across Canada. So I think it's a great benefit to local cancer patients that they'll have access to treatments which really will not be available elsewhere. The original investment by the Cancer Foundation was critical to launch this project. There's no question their support over the years has been uh, key to our development of our program, including the manufacturing uh, facility that we have available to us now and the staffing and, and, and it really supported a lot of the scientists who've come through my lab. And The objective of this network is cure-oriented research. We're trying to develop therapies that we believe will cure patients of their disease. It's not going to prevent the cancers from coming. Those are, I think, an inevitability because of our society and our aging population. But what we think we can do is develop therapies that will actually eliminate the cancer from their bodies and keep it away for a, a long time, hopefully forever. And hopefully cure each of those patients. That's the goal. I can't say we're going to achieve that next week or next month or next year, but I think that's where we're headed and I feel very confident that some of the patients we're going to treat over the next five years are going to be people who are going to be cured of their disease.